Welcome back, survivors. Disturb Z here, and we are back in Timberborn, back in the Water Beaver mod. I am taking a look at things, looking at what all we got going, and I just got through checking my comment section, and I had a comment about the. I think it was about the factory needing for the chemistry set that I was going to need a a quartz I think that's what was said let me see here let me let me see if I can if I can take a look at this let's see so there's the factory and I believe this is the yeah that's the chemistry set and what is this we need we need methane and we do need quartz okay so even if I get the factory built put in installed all that kind of good stuff it's not going to do me a whole lot of good because I don't have any quartz, and the amount of methane I have is, well, I, I've got a little bit, but I mean, I don't have enough to build that, not not yet anyway. So, but anyway, that's okay, so we need quartz. Now, I believe I was, I was told quartz comes from, yep, right there, the medium mine. So, we need 250 points to unlock the medium mine. <laughs> Just one more thing, one more thing that we're going to have to unlock. So, yeah, I need I still need the power shafts. I need that. That's it's quite the task. It really is. There there's so many different things. Um let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. What I mean, I guess it would make sense to have the quartz and the methane in order to get the methane, though I'm going to have to have a tank which, that's another 120 for the tank, which we can, well, no. Isn't that, that's not, no, that's not scrap, that's metal blocks. Ugh. Don't I have to have the factory to make the metal blocks? See, I, I feel like we're running in circles here. Hold on. Yes, yes, I need, I need the factory to make metal blocks. So, in order to make the chemistry set, I have to have the factory first. Then I have to get the mine. Then I have to get the the um, the tank, and then once we have the tank, then I can make the chemistry set. Once I have the chemistry set, then I can go over here and make the the doctor, the hospital. I feel like the doctor. I mean, granted, it is an important building. I feel like it's a little. I don't know. I feel like it's a little uh, little much to get to it, but I do understand the reasonings behind it. I'm not against it. I just feel like, you know, early on, I feel like the, the original base model should be maybe a little bit easier to obtain and like the upgrades be a little bit harder. Cause I'm wondering, I'm wondering how hard the, the upgrades for it are actually, actually are, hold on, brain fart, how hard it's going to be to actually get the upgrades for it versus getting the original building is what I'm trying to say. But y'all knew that. So, all right. So I'm kind of thinking medium mine. I'm thinking about putting it over here on this. I think this is just big enough that I can put it on and and have it over here. So I'm thinking about that. And let's see the factory. I'm still looking at where, where all of our water and stuff is going. It looks like it's about the same speed going on this side versus that side. So it really doesn't seem like too big of a difference. Now, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to check one more thing. So I think I might have actually got the the location of the, the incoming power wrong. I did. Okay, so the power is in the upper left-hand corner. For some reason, I guess those are windows. I was looking at the ones below it, and I keep thinking that those are the the connection port for some reason. I don't know why I keep thinking that, but yes, the the power is in the upper left. So that is that is a thing. I really wish these windows could be a little bit smaller. I really do. It seems like just such a big window. Uh, I know I've said that before too, but anyway. So let's see what what can we do? What can we do? I mean, if I built it here, so 
So would it still... No, it would still need... Hmm. Any way it goes, I need that. I need that power. Uh, the power connection. The universal power shaft. So we're going to get that one first. We're going to go ahead and spend our points on it. We've got that. It's unlocked. It's doing its thing. Now, 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 I can figure out where I want to connect everything at. Um... I could connect it down here as well. You know what? What would happen? Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Power, power, power. So it has to be. It has to be too high. Correct. I believe so. So if we were to put it over here. Yeah, the water moves a little bit better out there. Can I block this right here with anything? Is there anything I can put in here to block it? Um, warehouse maybe? Like No, those it says it's solid, but it doesn't say it's watertight. Of course, then again, that's only 30 and we don't have Well, we have 30. Hold on. Let me let me spin points on this. No, that is not watertight. Okay, no, it's an open warehouse. All right, so that was that was kind of a waste. Um, and I don't know, I don't know what I could put right there to to fill in that gap um, because we can't put. No, we can't put that there. I was gonna say if we could put that there, I guess technically I could build a a dam behind this and push the water over, but that seems. That seems like a little bit, a uh, little bit ridiculous, a little bit like, you know, a little much to be doing. But if I could, that would move more of the water flow to the outside. I'm just, I'm looking, I'm trying to see what would be, what would be our best bet for a power. Because things are expensive. They are most definitely expensive. Um... Now, I talked about putting it here. I might still have to. If I put it right there, let me just kind of, let me just mock it up a little bit. If I put it right there, the building would have to go... And it'd be in the... See, that's the problem. It, it's in the top left. So if I put it anywhere, yeah. See, that's just going to get in the way, though. That's that's my problem right now is my buildings feel like they're just going to get in the way of of whatever I whatever I put down. Um, hmm. Yeah. I mean, I could put it yeah, I just don't know what would what that would do to it though. I mean, I could fold it up backwards. Where is the the entrances on the bottom, huh? So if I were to put it like right here, yeah, that still doesn't do me any good. Hmm. Where to put it? Where to put it? All right, guys, give me a second. I'm going to pause here. I'm going to look around. I'm going to try to see if I can figure out where I want to put this because I really don't know the preferred spot. So let me let me take a look. Let me play with some stuff and we'll be right back. Okay, guys, I think I've got it figured out how I want to do it. So if we build one wheel over here, I put this guy right here. I then have the ability to actually put a wheel on the building. I didn't think about using the actual building to hold the wheel, um, which which makes perfect sense because I was trying to build like a little power grid thing over here. It's a little bit more difficult in this one, but I think if we did this and I was able to put that right there, all we would need to do is bridge this gap right here, and we would have uh, we would have it we would have it built. 
So if I did this, that would be 300 for this one. That'd be 300 there. That'd give me 600 um, HP. And then, of course, because it connects at the bottom, I would need to run a road over here. So what I'd have to do first is we need to come over here. We need to get rid of this guy, get rid of that guy. I hate to do that, but that's what we have to do. Come back in with a ladder. Like so. Put our path back on top of this. Make sure that this is top priority. Run our path. Like so. So that would give us access down there. And then, of course, the beavers can climb over here and work on this and do all that kind of good stuff, too. So that that would work. Um, so I'm thinking, I'm thinking for right now, we're going to leave this one off uh, just because I don't need all the logs and planks over there yet. But let's do this. Let's build this one up. Let's do... I'm going to do that guy right there. Now, I don't... I don't need to go down to the bottom right now, but I'm going to just in case. And yes, I am going to have to end up end up doing three unless we have... Well, that one's only 50 points. How much points? We, we have 25 points. You know what? We'll... Uh, do I really need that? Is it that much cheaper? It is that much cheaper. Technically, so is that one, though. Well, I need... No, I'm going to need it like, yeah, we're going to have to have it like that. Okay, that's, that is what it is. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll purchase this little guy and we'll finish this off. But yes, this should work. That should give us plenty of, of power. We've got a nice flow right here. Our buildings will kind of make a, a, I don't know. There, there, it's a thing. It, it's, it's a little bit blocked off, but it should be okay. And then if we absolutely have to. And I need to put a building over here or back here. We can do that for extra industry, I think, maybe, possibly. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. So, it's one of those deals, guys. One of those deals. Alright. Well, at least, at least that'll be the first part of it. We'll do that. We'll get our metal blocks going, and then we'll go from there. So the next thing is, is we were talking about doing a mine. Now, in order for me to do a mine, I've got to follow this little pattern right here. Hold on. Let me back out just a bit. Okay. So we need a hole that is three wide, four deep, and then has two over there. Okay. Three wide, two deep. Let me come back over here. Let me go to my dynamite. So if I do it, I don't know if we have to be like one in or not, but that'd be three deep. That'd be like so, if we had it completely contained, right? Because I, I think, I don't know. I'm I'm assuming that the building has to have like a a layer around it. Hold on, let me see here. Let me see what the Yeah, so it's going to have to have that edge. Okay, so that's where the building actually sits is on that edge. Yeah, so we have an edge all the way around it. Okay, good. So that will actually work for our mine. Okay. So we'll do that, and then the next one after that is, hold on, I shouldn't have zoomed out yet, is the exact same shape minus the corner. And then the next one is the same shape minus the one next to that corner. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the shape we need. Okay, so we blast this one down. Then the next one, we skip this corner. Then the next one, we skip that one. And yeah, okay, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. We'll do that. While we're doing that, we're gaining, 
We're gaining our research points. We're going to get us some more knowledge. We don't have any extra beavers. I've got a ton of children, though, but we don't. Ah, it's because a whole bunch of them died. That's right. Okay. That and we have five injured beavers. We really got to get that thing going. No recipe selected. Where? For that? Um, yeah, just leave it. I, I guess... I guess leave it for now, because eventually we're going to have to have it. But, yeah, it's it's a thing. Uh, well, I don't know. Did we ever? We never did clear this one out, did we? No, we didn't. You know what? I guess I'm going to leave this one as a methane for the moment until we get a tank built and everything relocated. It'll just have to be. It is what it is. It'll be all right. Alright, so we've got everything over here except for except for our anvil. All of that's built. So we have let me see where are we at on tools. We are good on tools. Let me switch this guy over to metal fasteners. We're gonna run metal fasteners for a bit. Let me just build up a little bit on our metal fasteners, and then as soon as we have a handful of those, we will uh We'll deconstruct that building so that we can rebuild this building. The first thing I'm going to build over here is another set of anvils. That way we can get that building put back. I think we need that one back. I'm pretty sure Pretty sure I need that one back. So, and yeah, that's what we'll do. Wow, lots and lots of brambles over here. Yep. That is awesome. All right. I still need a collector over there, though. Now, is this building, does it house beavers? It does. It's going to house six of them. Okay, that's good. Now, does the mine, when we get the mine, is that going to require, is it going to require a drill? No, it's just tools. Okay, good. So that one just requires tools. We don't have to have the drill bits yet. Yeah, we'll get to that later. All right. We're up to 77 fasteners. Yeah, let's get a little bit more than that. Alright, let's go ahead and blast this down. And then let's do... And hopefully I don't mess this up. Uh, and then let's do all of this. Minus that one, correct? So it will be a 3x3 three three plus an L shape. Let me go look. That's a three by three. That's L shape. Yep, that is what I need. So, out of curiosity, how do we get the ones in the middle? Hold on. What is. Let me see this. Okay, so we have to build us. We have to build a staircase down. Is that what it's saying? I think that's what it's telling me to do. So I think we have to. I'm pretty sure we have to unlock that guy as well. Which we do have enough. So let me go ahead and unlock him. I guess I should have done it the the other way, facing this way. Yeah. Yeah, because the road has to be on the back side. Oops. Oh, well. That's okay. We can put a road in from over here, too. Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Can you... No, you cannot reach that. Okay, let me put in... I'm going to put in just a temporary lumberjack for right now. 
right there and basically just yeah cut those trees out right there for me and right here you know what just cut all of that cut it all get it out of there don't need it don't want it and go ahead and temporarily give me a beaver we'll pull we'll pull a beaver from somewhere else get this done Yeah, which is okay because they'll bring they'll bring stuff down over here. You know, for I do not have I do not have my industry set up in a very good position. I have stuff everywhere. I'm just gonna say that right now. I do have stuff everywhere. Uh, go ahead and detonate this, and we are gonna need to go down one more one more stair, I believe. And then we need to fill the rest of this in with dynamite again. All right, double check the deal. Okay, so we were here. We blew that down. That starts it, right? Yeah, then we did this one. Now we're doing this one, and then at the last we'll do that one. So, yes, yeah, so it should have two right there. Yep. Is that a platform? I think that's a platform. So that's one, two, three. So that's... Huh? Hold on. No, that's on the old old one. Okay, so no, 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 no. So we don't need a platform there. That's that's just because they had them too close together, I believe. I think. Maybe. Possibly. We'll see. If we, if we mess it up, we mess it up. Hopefully we don't mess it up. Hopefully we don't. Hopefully we get this going just so. All right, Mr. Beaver, where are you at? Why aren't you cutting my trees down? Oops. There it is. Okay, so all of this is here. So we blast that. I should have just rebuilt this sign over there closer. So we blast that down, and it looks like we put in a third... I don't know. Hold on. So the last one that we need to blast is a 3x3, three three, right? So we do need one more staircase. I think. We go there. We turn. We come back. And this is... This is our 3x3. Three three. I really hope I did this right. Because that's a... It's not really a lot of work. It's not a lot of resources. But it's... It's a big hole. If I if I mess up the hole, then, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be um, quite annoying to to find another spot and reblast and all that. So hopefully I did this right. I think I did. I'm pretty sure I did. If not, I'm sure y'all were gonna let me know. Y'all gonna say no, you did it wrong. Only need 250. We're at 111. So, yes, we should get that here pretty quick, I think. Pretty, pretty quick. All right, so where are we at? We're at 116 on our metal fastener. So, we could probably go ahead and get rid of this building. Uh, let's see. Let me double check. Let's see. It makes fasteners, crude saw blades, and tools. Tools, we're at 146. 
We are at 116 there. Yeah, I think we're good. Let's go ahead and destroy that. We have a couple saw blades extra, so it's not like we're going to miss anything while that's down. And they are still doing, yep, they're still doing science over here. How many, we have seven vacancies. Wow, that's that's quite quite a lot. Um, oh, of course, then again, it could be because we just, well, the, we've got three. Oh, that's the paper mill. Never mind, I was thinking that they had built this building. I was like, yeah, we got things. No, we're about to, we're about to need even more beavers. Too far from the dish. Yeah, okay, so now we have to get our we have to get our ladder in place over here. As soon as that tree is moved, come on, little uh, little beavers, wherever you are. Where is my lumberjack beaver? Let me guess. Sitting there because log storage is full. Of course, log storage is full because why not? Um small pile that's only going to hold 20 but it's a temporary pile just so that he can get this stuff done i'm gonna prioritize that by hauler hopefully they don't bring logs from somewhere else in but we'll see we'll see yeah that's all it took he just had to he just had to grab that log All right. Almost there. And we're at 147 on our science. We done got this one built, so we've got plenty, plenty of beds. How many beds do we got? We've got seven free beds, and we've got. How do we have? How do we have a homeless if we have seven free beds? Okay, now we don't. Now we only have four free beds and zero homeless. All right. Well, I don't know. Don't know. We only have eight. We have eight vacancies. Good. So most of those beavers, I guess, grew up. I'm hoping. Yeah, it looks like some of them grew up. One of them died. Okay, so I don't need I don't need you anymore. You can go back to doing other beaver things. All right, I'm going to blast that down. Now, that should be done. I should be able to put my mine in as soon as we get enough points, which we are at 153, so all we need is 100 more points. So, it's going to take a minute for us to get there, but that's okay. That is okay. I would go ahead and increase the uh, the guys over here, but I don't I don't have that yet. What are we, what are we missing over here? We've got, I've got clay. We have coal. We have scrap metal. Oh, yes, I don't have that. I didn't build that yet because I was going to, I was going to learn I was going to learn this one to make it cheaper. How many how many uh, gears do we... You know what? I'm just going to put this gear so that they can start building. Because, yeah, that's... It is what it is. It's a thing. It's, you know... I was trying to go cheap with it. But to save time and research, I'm just going to do it like this. We'll, we'll unlock a couple of the other, you know, pieces. The other power shaft connections. 
at a later point. Right now, we're just trying to get the factory going. I think once we get the factory and I can start getting, like, the chemistry set and stuff, I think at that point I can start upping my science and stuff. I want to say we'll be stable at that point, maybe. I don't know. We haven't had too much trouble as far as, like, population and food and water. We had that one time, I think it was with the water, that got really bad, but we, we pulled through. We did pull through. Okay. Let me guess. Can't reach it. Of course, it's too far from the district. You know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put in... I'm just going to put in a ladder back here. Just in case we need a ladder for some reason... I'm going to put it in right there. That way they can build the ladder. They can walk out on it. They can build this. Yeah, it should it should work. It should be okay. Uh, let's see. Nothing to do in range. Yeah, I did kind of have you out here doing stuff, didn't I? Um, go ahead and pause you again. I don't need you. Building lacks materials. What are we lacking? As far as fried rice, we've got cabbage. Am I out? No, I'm surely not out of rice. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Wow, we actually are running a little bit well. I say that we have a ton of of the the rice cakes. Yeah, that's fine. That is that is completely fine. In fact, I think while I'm just sitting here thinking about it before I forget. Um, actually, can I, can the farms even reach that? I don't, yeah, they can reach that. Just go ahead and expand the rice patties a little bit, because why not? Might as well. Might as well expand our rice patties, that way we can always have rice. Okay, so where are we at now? We are at 192. On that that's excellent so we are almost there guys almost good now that we have this but our wheels not turning now why is our wheel not turning seriously I've got Did I really build that rat? Th you know what? That is, that is, but the water is moving past it. I can see the water moving past it. Why is it not turning? Somebody bring me some grease. We got to grease the wheel. I'm going to figure this out. You know what? I could put another one over here on this side too. Maybe that's what I should have done. Hmm. All right. Well, I think we're going to have to fix and adjust this later on. I really thought that there was going to be enough water flow right there for that to move. I mean, this wheel's moving. And that's like... It's right there. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to do something. We're going to have to rearrange. We're going to have to redirect water, but... Anyway, it is what it is. We'll get it fixed. We'll, I'll make it work. Uh, but anyway, guys, that is probably going to be it for for today's video. So we got a little bit of stuff done. We've got our our mine hole. We got it blasted. So I'm just waiting on research. We've got our other building installed. I've got our power wheel, which for some reason isn't turning. Well, I know what why it's not turning, but. We're gonna we're gonna rearrange and redo that. We're gonna redirect. We're gonna move. We're gonna move currents. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna move currents around. So, 
I think it'll be a simple matter of placing a couple of dams or levees or whatnot, and everything will kind of line up and go with that. But anyway, that's going to be it for today's video. I do hope everyone has enjoyed it. If you have, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It is an awesome way for you to show your support to me, to the channel, to the video, and to the game itself. And as always, feel free to share the video on any social media you're using. And guys, just like to stop, take a moment, and thank each and every one of y'all for all of your wonderful, awesome support. All the comments, all the likes, all the subscribers, and all the videos shared. It is awesome, and I do appreciate it. And with that being said, until next time, survivors. Keep on surviving.